Um, you want to bring that ball back to me, Tricky? You want to maybe... You want... Hello? You want to maybe bring that ball back to me? You little shithead! Bring it! Hurry up! Bring me the ball! Give me the ball! You stupid dinosaur! Well, you know what? I'm not playing with you now. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to, uh, Let's Play Star Fox Adventures. My name is Wooping. I was gonna play fetch with Tricky, but he decided to be a little bastard and not bring me the ball back. So, you know what? Another time. Another time when you're good. You have to be a good boy to play with your ball. Um, in the last episode, oh, we got interrupted by a fucking thing in Peppy's Dinosaur Planet map. All right, cool. Let's check Peppy's map. He wants us to go back to Thorntail Hollow. That's where I was gonna go anyways. In the last episode, we got the Spellstone from Cloud Runner Fortress? No, that was two episodes ago. We made our way to Cape Claw and to the Ocean Force Point Temple and we returned the Spellstone into the palace thing. That's what we did. That's what we did last episode. And in this episode, we're gonna go back to Cape Claw and, or not Cape Claw. We're gonna go, well, I guess technically, yes, we are going back to Cape Claw, but we're going to Thorntail Hollow to figure out where we go next for our next spellstone. Cause I don't know where the hell it is. We gotta find that out. Maybe the, maybe Tricky's mom can tell us where it is. While well, she cooks me dinner. What the fuck was that guy throwing in the air? Did you see that way in the distance? Well, I'll just leave him be, he looks happy. Um, how's everybody doing today? I got pumped up because right before this episode, I was feeling a bit tired. I was like, you know what? I need something to wake me up. So I put on my headphones and I started watching Attack on Titan scenes. Oh my God. I can't get over that last episode, dude. It was so good. It was so good. I can't believe there's one more episode left. I seriously cannot wait for it. I need that episode in my life. Oh my God. I was watching the, the final scene in the latest episode, which is like, oh, I guess, man, it's like spoiler talk. For anyone who's seen the episode, when the, when they're all jumping out and gonna do the thing, you know they're gonna they're gonna start their thing. Like you guys know, who's seen it. Um, the music that plays during that, it's like a fucking funky bass guitar rock song. Oh my god! I need to figure out the name of that song. Whenever they release a fucking version of it on Spotify, I'm adding that shit to my playlist day one. It's so good. It's so funky. Oh my god, the guy on the bass is like Oh my god. I love bass guitar. Such a good instrument. It really adds to like any It's kind of like, you know, have you ever heard songs where people people do like mash like a song but they take out the drums in it and it's like completely different, like it's not even the same song and it ruins it? I feel like bass is the same kind of thing. If you do, if you take out bass guitar from a song, it's not good. It just ruins the entire song. Bass guitar is fucking sweet, man. It actually reminded me of a guy on YouTube who does, he does like funky, funky game music. Or he, or he turns music funky with bass. And he did a, he did a video on Attack on Titan with that. He turned, turned the songs funky. That's what it reminded me of. Look at this little baby, dude. Oh God, no. What is this? Fox, how did you not hear that? He even has a little diaper on. What the oh, hell? I don't like this box. <laughs> Fox, look out! It's a trap! It's a trap! Oh no! Don't you watch Star Wars? Oh, I fell for the trap. General Akbar. Damn it. Lightfoot Village. I don't know why I have the silhouettes showing like that. I must have my my graphics are turned on a weird setting. Stop stalling me, Stinky! It's this stupid guy. What? Untie me right now. Yeah, you tell him. The Lightfoot. We, like we talk about thief. We, thief? Yeah. What are you talking yeah, about? exactly. See, I I understand. You take our treasure and give it to the stinking shop club. Everyone's stinky yeah, to these guys. Thief. Kill the stinking pig. Kill the stinking you pig. You gave it to me. Let me show yeah. you what we do. Yeah, that guy's a liar. I didn't steal anything from you. Cloud Runner. <gasps> the Cloud Runner's gonna help me. I saved the Cloud Runners and now they're gonna help me. Okay, this is a very hard part of the game. What? I pushed the button. What the hell are you talking about? Hello? Okay. This part of the game is where things get kind of difficult. Okay? I'm not gonna lie. There's lots of mini games in this part. And they have to do with a lot of timing. This one specifically, if you're not good at timing this, very, very, very difficult. 
as you can see, the green bar is getting smaller and smaller as it goes by. And you only have a little bit of time because they'll come up and poke you. They gotta poke you with their spear. Alright. <laughs> That's a funny voice clip. This game has a lot of funny voice clips. Nice. Got it. They kind of sound like distorted and, and oh my god, I, I barely got that one. How many more are there? There's still two more? That is so tiny, dude. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Why the hell is it me controlling this Cloud Runner? Why do I have to tell him when to shoot fire out? Shouldn't you just be able to do that on your own? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. This might be- this might get dangerous, actually. I'm taking half a heart of damage every time. Okay, hold on. No words. I gotta- I gotta focus. There we go. See? See? When I'm not doing commentary- uh, Sorry. <laughs> I went through commentary, it really makes it a lot easier. But that's the point of a Let's Play channel, is I gotta do commentary and, and, and do the thing over it. Ugh! Ow! Fox, just use your blaster. Oh wait, General Pepper didn't let me have my blaster, because he's an idiot! Okay, we got it. Woo! Woo! Dude, that was risky. Oh, let him cook? Hold on, let him cook? Okay, sure. How about you let me out of here too? How about that? You just you guys just kidnapped me. That's illegal. Thanks for helping our queen, Fox. Oh, thanks I'm for helping me. I can the favor. Yeah. I appreciate it, man. See, the cloud runners are nice. Tricky. I don't know what your parents told you, but they're wrong. I want to be a cloud runner. Anyways, um, welcome to this fucking place. Um, we're not allowed to leave. So what I, what, I, what I was saying before about this place, this is a very puzzle heavy place. You can see, where's our, where's our even, where's our door to get out? Where's Tricky? Oh, there he is. Hey Tricky, you wanna dig here? Fine. What do we got here? I don't even know. It's been so long. This is probably the area I remember the most as a kid. What the fuck is this thing? What is this? Oh God, Tricky, get out of the way. <laughs> I can't see. I got a wooden block. What am I, like a, ch like a child? I'm gonna play with toys now, put blocks in holes. Oh god. Okay. See, so, yeah, I remember this part as a kid. Very vividly. Hey Fox! Shouldn't we take a look around? Why? There may be a Krizoa spirit here. What? What makes you say that, Tricky? Like you seriously. Oh, I can actually leave. I thought it was locked here. Oh. How the hell would Tricky just guess that? Uh, like, how do you know? How do you know what's here and what's not here? What makes you say that? You have like a sixth sense? Can you see dead people? Are you child from the sixth sense actor? I don't know the name of that actor. Are you him? Is that you? Can't go in there. Um, there's a bunch of- this is a cool looking area though. I mean, I, I like these little huts around here. It's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. Where do I go? I can go back up. I could put the block in the hole. Should I do that? I saw some things where I could put block in a hole. Um, there's no music. I'm guessing it's because it's nighttime. Yeah, hey, look, see, look, there's a hole here. I can put a block in. Oh, nice! I did it. What'd that do? <clears throat> ah, I got some little things. Okay, I need a triangle block, and I need a square block. Got it. Got it. Look for a triangle and a square. Can you guys do that for me? You guys can do that for me. Just. Uh, just like shout it out into the ether. If you see a triangle or a square block, just be like, yo, whooping, it's right there, and I'll hear you. I'll hear you. All right, let's get up here. Let's see what we got. Because apparently Tricky thinks that there's some kind of, uh, some kind of fucking Krizoa here. Oh, I can't do that. Okay, weird. Um, ooh. So today I, j I finally caught up on The Last of Us. I just watched the most recent episode, which came out yesterday. I believe it's episode eight. It's whatever episode the, the cannibals are introduced in. And uh, pretty good, pretty good. I'm comparing everything to the game right now. Like every, every scene that happens and they did change it slightly, but still the same thing happens and it's very well done. Just go away. Well, yeah, now I'm mad. So you looking for Krizoa spirit. How do you know this? Yes, I am. So, yeah, okay. Maybe I help oh my god, that guy's today. buff. You see, Is that Canadian? Eh? Hey? Ooh. Under our village, 
is a mighty chamber. There actually is a fucking Krizoa. There actually Krizoa. is a Krizoa spirit here. See for yourself, maybe. Eh? Duh. Stupid question. <laughs> of course we want to see that. Yeah, Not tricky. So fast. Only if you complete the life for test can you enter. Here we go. Oh, what are you guys laughing for? What are you guys What are you guys laughing for? Oh my god, that sounded like Gruntilda's laugh. Well, uh, they're laughing at you, Fox. You gotta do it now. Shut up, Tricky. But before you and the peer decide, pressure. Take a look at this. Take a look at this. This is the Lightfoot tests. Any person who's played this game, remember these tests, and remember how fucking difficult they are. Especially this one, the stupid test of strength, which I will show you. But first, we're gonna do the tracking test. Activate all four totem poles within the Lightfoot Village. Beat Musclefoot's all-time record of two minutes and thirty seconds to pass the test. That big buff guy over there, he's called Musclefoot, and he will fuck you up. Activate so let's do this. Okay. Go. Oh shit! Let's go. Go, Fox. Go. So that's that thing there. So I, I think there, I think it said there's four of them. So let's activate all four. I just jumped off like a dummy. That's okay. Oh my god, we get this epic music. All right, here we go. Here we go. So I probably should have ran around the village first and did like a little scouting scouting mission to see where everything is. Because I don't remember how to get around here. And if you get lost a couple times, it might actually... You might actually run out of time, which is bad. So where do I go? There's one over there. Okay, let's go over there. Oh yeah, let's go, Fox. Come on, baby. This is this music's epic. Oh shit. Okay, go on here. Tricky, where's your flame? Where's your flame? Where's your flame? Flame on. Flame on, Johnny. Uh, whatever whatever guy's name is from Fantastic Four. That fire is gonna catch me on fire. I don't have time to wait. Let's go. Oh shit. Tricky. Uh tricky dig. And then I'll go up here and get this. We'll do a two for one, baby. Here we go. And the boy. Um, I'm just, I'll get I'll get whatever he dug up later. I'll get it another time. I don't know where I'm going. Go! I heard the stupid witch. Oh no! How do I get up there? Uh oh. How do I get up here? Um. Uh oh. This might be bad. Oh, there's another one up there. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I only have one minute left? Oh no! This is what I mean. See, I told you this is really bad. Okay, let's get up here. Here we go. How do I get to that one in the middle? I'm trying to remember. I have to jump to it from somewhere. It has to be the only way. Hurry up! Do it! Got it! Okay. It needs, a, it needs to be from there, which I can get there from there. Which I see! I see! I see! I see! Go, Fox! Go! Screw the stupid turtle monsters in the water. I don't care about them. Hurry up. Go, go, go. I gotta climb up the ladder. Okay. Oh, there's gonna be barely enough time. Come on, baby. Come on, Fox. You got this. You're the you're the captain of Star Fox for a reason. Show everybody that you're not a wussy. How do I get over there? This is not how they get over there. Um. Leap of faith! Oh, no. That's not a leap of faith. Leap of faith! Okay, I can't jump over there. Well... Great. Cool. How the fuck do I get up there? <laughs> Am I missing something? I failed the test. Yeah, I did. God damn it. Ah, oh, oh, shucks. All right, well, fucking fuck that. Whatever. Okay, listen. Listen. I think I screwed myself because I don't think I'm able to do that yet. I think I have to get all the stupid blocks and put them in the hole and then make some platforms rise up because I can't get up there. Right? Don't hit me, turtle man. Okay. Yeah, I can't get up there. Hey, Tricky, you want some food? Yeah, you get some grub tubs. Get some grub tubs in ya. But yeah, so I, so the last of his episode, um, I was very impressed with it. Uh, uh, you know what's really weird? The voice for Joel in the games, Troy Baker, was in the episode, but he he's not Joel. He's like a he's one of the he's one of the cannibal characters. Which I, I thought was weird. Like, you have Joel in the shows played by Pedro Pascal. And then you have the voice of Joel from the game playing a different character in the show. That's like a one-off episode. I mean, it was it was cool seeing him in there. But it was weird, like, seeing him as that character. I was like, what? 
Why did you got the you got the voice actor for the guy in the game, but you didn't make him the character in the show? I don't know. I don't know. I th thought that was kind of weird. Not that I'm complaining. I love Pedro Pascal as Joel in the show. I think he looks like Joel, and I think he fits the the character a lot. They did a very good casting role for that. I will give them credit for for Pedro Pascal. Very very good. But um, yeah, I just found it weird. I was like, why the hell? Joy Baker's in here, and, and he's not Joel. That's just really weird. <laughs> but yeah, the episode was pretty good. Pretty good. They got me to feel some of the emotion I did in the game, man. That ending scene. That ending scene. Like I said, they did it a bit differently, but I think I think they did it like a good job. You know? The same thing happened. I mean, I guess, I'll, you know... Like, I don't want to talk spoilers. I hate talking spoilers for shows, so I don't really... I just talk about it, like, vaguely. Because, like, I try and think... If, if it was me watching a random YouTuber with fucking 60 subscribers... 68 now, as of this episode. As of, as of my recording. Because I got someone who subscribed today. And it was cool. Oh my god, that's stupid witch. Stop laughing at me. Um... Yeah, if I, if I was to watch a random YouTube channel with 68 subscribers and they spoiled fucking, like, the ending of Attack on Titan or something, they're like, oh, yeah, actually, um, uh, the ending of the manga is this. I'd be like, you motherfucker. God damn it. You didn't even give a spoiler warning or anything. Yeah, I can't make that jump. Okay. There's gotta be some block I gotta raise up, which now I have the, now I have the block, so let's go put them up and see if my, if my theory is correct on that. So that's why I don't do spoilers, though. That's why. Now, I can give my guess as to how I think Attack on Titan's going to end. Because that's not spoilers. That's just me theorizing, right? I'm an anime-only guy. Never seen a single page of the manga. Except for that one meme of Aaron in the clouds saying, like, I'm free. Whatever. And I didn't know, like... I, I don't. I only saw that until this, this Friday when the episode came out. What'd that do? I didn't do anything. That must have did something, but maybe it didn't show me? What's this gonna do? Ah, ha, ha, I knew it! Now I can get there. See? See? I told you guys. I told you. You didn't listen. I get up there now? What's up in this building? I don't know. Let's go take a look. Let's take a look. It's in a book. Reading rainbow. Oh, it's just a little blue fuel cell orb. And it's locked. I can't even get in there. What? How do I... How do I... Okay, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. Uh, I gotta go all the way around to get over there? God dang it. God dang it. I gotta go all the way over. Okay, but this time we can get them all. Because we know how to do it. And this time we can actually get to the final pull. So that's good for me. That's good for me. I think I can get this episode under, under 25 minutes still. I have time. I have time. Watch this shortcut. Kablam! You like that shortcut? That's what I call a masterful shortcut. All right. Here we go. I'm going to do it. I'll activate all four totem pole. Go! Let's go, baby! Let's go, fox! Get in there, buddy! Stop swimming and start rolling. I need you to roll faster. It's like Legend of Zelda. You got to roll. Does rolling actually go faster in Ocarina time? I know, like, when you're out in the overworld, like, I used to just roll as a kid. Now I try and do, like, like the side jumps and the backwards jumps and stuff. I feel like that's a lot faster. But as a kid, it's like, oh, just spam the A button and start rolling. It's like Limp Biscuit. Just keep rolling, 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 what? But I don't know if it actually does make you go faster. Maybe slightly. Rolling might make you move slightly faster than just moving at a normal speed. At the cost of being very annoying. I will admit. I will admit. Bad guy! Where, Tricky? Where's the bad guy? Alright. Okay, let's get up here. Let's get up there. And bingo, bango, bongo. Blam. Okay, we got it. That's it. There's only four, right? Yeah, yeah. All four totem pole. That was what the guy said. I really like these lightfoot people. Oops, don't do that. That's not even fair. I'm in the water. Yeah, these Lightfoots, at least that main guy. And the other guy, they call me Stinky. That stinking sharp claw. You know? They're very, they have very fun characters. Anyways, I beat your stupid record. That's what I thought, Muscle Foot. Get out of here, dude. 
Who do you think you are? I am. We did it. Yay. Oh, he loves it. Well done, Fox. You have completed the tracking test. Hell yeah! Very good. Of course. Did you have any did you have any second thoughts? Bad guy. Bad guy! <laughs> Thanks, Tricky. Alright. Oh my god, no. Well, my laughter's gone. Because this is a test of strength. This is very difficult. Rapidly press A to compete against muscle foot. That's that guy over there on the right, the big muscle dude. So, here's what I'm gonna do, to sh just to show you guys something. I'm gonna start out by not tapping A. Just to show you something, okay? Let's see how strong you are. Oh fuck, dude. Oh God. Here we go. Okay, I'm not gonna tap A as fast as I can to start. I'm not gonna tap it as fast as I can. I'm just gonna just do it like slowly to start, okay? Here we go. Okay, he's going. Okay, tap it. I'm tapping it. I'm tapping it. Ooh, I'm tapping it. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you just lost. Wow. Are you serious? Wait. Are you kidding me? Wait, that was so easy. Wait, what? No way. Was that a fluke? There's no way I just did that first try. Huh. Well done, I'm an honorary member of the tribe. I'm actually shocked I just beat that first try. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Look that up on YouTube. People have trouble with that, even as adults to this day. People have trouble with that. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta try this again. I gotta try this again. Okay? Because I don't believe it. I can't believe it. There's no way I just did that first try. That is supposed to be like a super difficult A tapping minigame. Because I think, I think he like, what the fuck is this guy doing in here? Hello. My baby is dying to climb trees. Oh my God. Find all three and I'll reward you. Oh shit. Wait, there's little side missions in this? I had no idea. Okay. I swear to God, this used to be a thing where like, it like rubber bands with like how fast you tap the button. It like, it like taps it back at you faster. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to... Maybe what I did was right, like not tapping it at the start. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna tap it as fast as I can, right from the start. Here we go, baby. Oh, oh my God, I'm gonna tap the button. You can't beat me, dude. That was insanely easy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Maybe I just sucked as a kid. I'm not even kidding. I used to have the most trouble with this as a kid, like insanely. <laughs> My brother, my brother would be upstairs listening to me play and he would hear me yelling at the TV and, uh, and like grabbing a pillow and throwing it and punching it and getting all mad. And he would come down and make fun of me and yell at me for being too loud. But I'm swear to God, that used to be the hardest thing ever. And, I, and, then, I, and then I looked up videos on YouTube and it's like strategies on how to beat the A-tapping minigame in Lightfoot Village. And I'm like, there's like a guy, a guy like brought out like a spoon and used it to tap the A button on his on his controller. And I was like, oh, so I'm not the only one that has trouble with this. Like, I swear to God, if that video is still on YouTube, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, we gotta look for this girl's babies. My babies are stuck in the tree. Where the hell are your babies? Do I have to like knock them out of the tree? What's happening here? I don't see them. Where are your babies? Um. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm looking for babies inside of a tree, but like, I don't see any babies. My babies! Oh, I'll get my babies! What am I doing? I'm losing my mind is what I'm doing. Okay, I'll find them. Don't worry. They'll show up eventually. Let's get one of these sleeping grub tubs. Okay. Am I crazy? Do you guys see any babies inside of trees? You guys, you guys, you guys seen any babies? You guys seen anything? I see a firefly. I see a buffon dad. I see a stupid witch. Um, I'm not seeing any babies. I can't believe I took damage from that. Are you serious? I really just took damage from that? That's insane. Where the hell? There's no way. There's no way. This witch is gonna hit me, isn't it? No. Okay, we're good. No, don't touch me. I mean, no, don't touch, touch me. Hello. Look out for my three babies. I think they're in the forest. Wait, you also have babies? Oh! 
They're not inside here. They're outside. I remember now. I remember now. Don't tell me you also have three babies. Don't you tell me. My babies, they are so naughty. Underground? What? Wait, wait, wait. So each of these fucking people each have three babies? There's nine babies? Am I crazy? Is that, is that, what's, is that what's happening here? Okay. What? How is this? There's no way. There's no way. I don't see any effing babies. One of them said they were inside of trees. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we're going to be done this episode. But I'm not going inside the Krizoa Palace place. Wait, there was a little code here. They did something here. Did they not? What's the code? Let's go... Let's go middle... Left... And right. No. Let's go middle... Right... Then left. Uh, left. Left. What? Okay, am I crazy? I'm losing my mind. Where the hell are your babies? Yeah! yeah! Tricky loves it. Okay, I'm very confused. I'm not seeing any babies. I'm seeing zero babies. Do you guys see anything? Oh my god, I thought that Bafom Dad was a baby. God damn it. There's no babies. These people lied to me. There's no babies. Okay, but you know what? You know what? I'm gonna figure that out another time. Okay? Um, we're gonna call the episode here. So, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Star Fox Adventures. Um, if you liked it, hit like on the episode. And maybe hit subscribe if you want to watch more on my channel. Are you kidding me? I can't get back in? Well, okay, now I really have to end the episode because I got to figure out how the hell to get back in. So, thank you guys for watching. Maybe next episode, I'll, I'll, I'll be inside. That'll be cool. Okay, see you guys then. Goodbye.